Hello everybody, I'm Gio Snow. So recently I have posted a photo of my operating system for uh, Arduino that I'm building and uh, some of you were interested in it to see how it looks like and to, you know, hear more details about it. So I decided to make a short video for it. So this is in uh, Arduino Mega with a TFT uh, touchscreen on top of it from uh, MCU Friend, which are very, very hard to program for some reason. The default um, Arduino libraries and the UTFT libraries are not working with, with this particular screen. So anyways, let's plug it in and see how the operating system looks like. So it starts like this with the micro OS, which is the name of the operating system. And the reason you see a bunch of text in here is because this operating system that I made has two different uh, methods of booting, one with a progress bar and a graphical you know, design for booting, and this one here, which is called verbose boot, which helps me debug it. Now I'm going to fiddle a bit with the lights in here. This is what I call the actual switchboard, and um, it's the desktop of this operating system. Again, this is an Arduino Mega, so it's pretty limited in what you can do and you know what it can um, contain and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, we are now in the desktop area. This is the menu button. These two in here, the phone and the text messages, are uh, reserved for the uh, SIM uh, 900 um, GSM shield that you can connect with this Arduino and pretty much have functionality like you know calling, receiving text and stuff like that. We have the settings, the um, folders application, which pretty much allows you to browse the um, uh, SD card, or sorry, micro SD card that is part of the um, MP3 shield used for music. Then um, the uh, camera, which again requires a shield for camera, and the terminal and power off, which actually does power off the CPU. So uh, yeah, here we have the uh, timing, but the time is staying still to 12.31 for the moment because I do not have the uh, timing crystal connected, so it's not um, it's not updating. The battery though is um, updating. Well, it's fluctuating in there. Anyways, this is the menu. So um, it's a resistive touchscreen, which is completely dreadful, but I don't have a capacitive one for this Arduino. Now, what it does, it pretty much shows you the uh, apps in here. You can, for example, open the terminal. And I have a quick demo for the terminal. Normally, I send um, to the terminal, I send data through the serial interface, but since I do not have the serial connected, I have saved a command that is supported into the EEPROM, and this one is kern info. Uh, this command on my operating system, on micro OS, prints the information about the kernel, just like you name A on um, Mac OS 10 or Mac OS or uh, Linux and so on. So, um, uh, when you open an application, the uh, dock menu here changes the icons to this exit button that if you press um, is going to bring you back to the um, switchboard, which is quite dope in my opinion. Now, uh, let's try to open something else. For example, let's try to open the media player, which uh, looks like this. Now, they do change color. You're going to ask me why they draw so hard. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem at first with Arduino itself, which is pretty limited, only 16 uh, megahertz. Um, then uh, there's a problem with the touchscreen it itself, with the uh, TFT shield, sorry, which is pretty slow. It's a cheap $7 one and uh, $7 for three and a half or three point whatever inch uh, display is pretty, pretty, um, it's pretty cheap. So you can expect it to not perform very fast. A, an Adafruit would probably work better with this. And then probably the routines from the Adafruit uh, GFX library are not very fast in themselves. So anyways, yes, um, this one requires an actual MP3 shield to be connected in order to communicate with it and to read data from the SD card, but this is the um, interface itself. Now, you, you can see that the uh, the uh, actual status bar line in there and the uh, dock in here changes colors depending on the application that is currently running. So if I go back to the uh, main menu, it changes back to blue. If I go back in here and or I go in here and open the uh, terminal, you're going to see it changes to some sort of dark color, um, which is pretty much the result of an internal function in the kernel that uh, switches colors depending on the theme of the application. 
Um, in order to change the dock in here to, you know, the icons or the exit menu, I pretty much have a kernel variable stored in the uh, EEPROM that is called is app open. And that pretty much is being set to false or true depending on whether an application is started. And by application, I mean the terminal, the camera or anything else but the menu. And uh, if it is, it changes automatically in there. Now, there is the shutdown, for example, which looks like this. It asks you for a, uh, you know, confirmation. And if I do this, it's going to pretty much um, shut down the, the entire Arduino. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm still working on it. It's going to be available on GitHub. So yeah, GSNO signing out.